Welcome back. Um, we're still playing the Genie's Curse, and we're going to go visit our family. Greetings to you on this finest of days. I am Sabaha, Captain of the Guard. What can I do for you, young warrior? I have permission from the Caliph to enter. Stand aside. Ah, he the Caliph has blessed upon you with his most royal permission to visit your father and your father only. I shall make haste in securing you immediate access to the lower dungeons. All you need, all you need, uh, how you say, oh sorry, all I need, uh, how you, how shall I say, seventy-five gold to let you buy. Ah, <sighs> take it. Thank you for your dungeon pass fee. Enjoy your stay, and watch your step. Yeah, he's a big extortioner, but you know, what are you gonna do? Follow me. I will take you to your father and then leave you for privacy. You will not visit anyone else. Return when you are done. Which is stupid, because obviously, if you leave me alone, I will go looking around. Obey the Caliph. Obey the Caliph. Yeah, so they were the little mechanical dudes from before. Here you are. Remember, you are forbidden to see the remainder of your family. But I will do so. Who comes to visit the Eldor al Hazaret? I apologize for the lack of amenities, and regret that as a host I have no food to share with my guest. It is your son. Yay! Experience points! Son, is that really you? Yes, it is. How are they treating you? Never mind about that. How did you escape Sorceress Isle to, re to reach Banda Asayat? And how did you make it down here? It is a long story. Here's what happened. You tell your father the story of your adventures while you tell your tale. You notice that your father looks to be in very poor health, and yet his robes are still beautiful and clean. When you finish weaving the tale, your father says, That is amazing, son. You are indeed an al -Hazarat. How are they treating you, father? Oh, never mind that. We have a problem with Muli Muliban. Our genie somehow turned against us. He claims he was ordered to attack, but I gave no such order. The Caliph does not believe me, and I do not believe him. My story is too improbable. I wish I knew more about why Muliban turned, but that's all I know. As he speaks, you notice that the dungeon cell is quite squalid. Father, <laughs> Father, I must know if you, if you are in poor health. Son, I must confess. I am not in the best of health. There are better cell in the eastern part of the dungeon, but dangerous suspects like me are kept in these western cells. But by coincidence, these cells are also very unhealthy. Take this potion of extra healing. He drinks the potion and looks healthy again. Thank you, son. You have restored me. I shall go now and restore our family name. Son. You must find the cells of both your mother, or your sister and your mother. Tell them I am all right, and find out how they are faring, and then return to me. But father, the caliph has ordered me to see no one but you. Did you give your word that you would see only I? No. Then, son, do this for me. It would ease your poor father's heart. All right, I will do it. Excellent. Listen to me. There are two types of guards here. There are the human guards, and I know for a fact that the ones to the south take bribes. However, the one, the human, the one human that patrols the cells does not take bribes. He seems to stay solely in this section. The other guards are small copper automatons, moving machines with no minds. The human guards make fun of them all the time. The automatons need to be close to detect you, and they cannot see behind themselves. I do not know where your mother and your sister are being kept. As long as you are not killed in front of their cells, you should not get in any trouble. Now go! Yep. Thanks, Father. Alright, I'm gonna save. Because it's been a while. I have seen my papa. Ooh, my app up. My papa. Alright. Let's see. Okay, we could just go straight to them, because I know where they are, but I like to have a little chat to the people around. Oh, Garth! 
Is that your card? My strength is ebbing. Is a card block of cells at the Caesar and We're all wasting away here. Okay, cool. Thanks. The wicked actions of the Caliph will return to haunt you. The gods will smite you for putting us in these diseased cells, and there will come a day of vengeance. I am a Harakim, a wise woman, and I have foreseen it. What day of vengeance? I have foreseen the coming of a great liberator. He is the Tahik Min Kwad, one who has fallen, but in falling rises. He passes through flame, and in suffering he learns of the he learns to understand the pain of others. He will liberate us. Who is he? He is one who is master of the seas, but knows no crews. He is one who is mender of men's hearts, but is no priest. And he is one who is not Sha'ir, but is master of genius. Mark my words, he shall liberate us all. <laughs> Perhaps your liberator will come sooner than you think. Because it is I! I am young al Hazard. I will free you! The wise woman gives you an evil look. I just gave you the news you wanted to hear. Oh, whatever. No one in there. I beg the Caliph's forgiveness. I promise I will not tell her soul of the charge changes to Banda al -Sayat. I abjectly apologizing for saying I would. I would not even mention these wretched cells that weaken me with disease. Please release me. I won't tell a soul. No one in here. Although apparently someone's going to have a bushfire. Um. Help! Please release me. I have been falsely imprisoned for speaking against the cliff. But I never did. I just... I just said I thought the new laws were too harsh. But I'll apologize. Yeah, no go, buddy. I'm afraid you're stuck here. Hi there. I am Shubikan. <gasps> it's Shubikan! <laughs> okay, I don't know if anyone remembers that, but before we went to see the cliff, we found a note in a, um, in your chest of drawers that said, remember to go see Shubikan. Or Shubikan, technically. But yeah. <laughs> so we've actually met him. I did not realize it was him. I am overjoyed. Anyway, a forger, and unlike everyone else here, I'm as guilty as sin. How refreshing to meet an actual criminal down here. Yep, I'm the only one. They stopped arresting real criminals except for dangerous ones to the Caliph. Are you dangerous to the Caliph? Oh, yes. I forged a seal that looks just like the Vizier's. Fortunately, I was caught with, the, with only a copy of his seal. Not what with the seal was commissioned for. Whatever it is, I am certain its intent was to harm the Vizier. Why did you forge such a thing? Why, for gold, of course. But after I completed the job, I was caught with some copies of the forged seal. What a noble hired you. Some guy from the Caliph's court. I never knew his name. He did not care. How interesting. I must leave now. Farewell, forger. Farewell. Do -do -do. So yeah, those guys are interesting. But, um... Here, obey the caliph. Release me! I'm an old woman. All I said was that in my eighty years I never saw so many guards patrolling the streets. I didn't even say I thought it was a bad thing. I thought it was a good thing. Please, I'm an old woman. Will no one listen? Oh, come on. What's happening with this guy here? You there, Corsair. You must hear my tale, for I am a magistrate. Okay. What tale is that, O interpreter of the laws? I have been falsely punished. I refused the sentence of Fushmangra to death for excessive public celebrating. <laughs> excessive public celebrating? To for death? Oh, gosh. And the caliph arrested me for threatening his rule. He arrested me. He's gone quite mad. Tell the world. I shall. <laughs> Just not when anyone can see it. Ah, here's sister. You see your sister in the back of the cell. She is talking to herself. Oh, she found us. Alaya, it is me, your brother. I was going to learn to fly as a sorcerer. Now I'm trapped in this damp cell. I hate it here. I was going to give you this as a present for your wedding, but you may need it earlier. Yay! 
Yay, more slingshot. But didn't she give us the other one for our wedding? Oh, I can't keep track of this girl. Yay! Level 5. Let's save again before we go to Mama. Alright, now I think we're running out of time, so... Sling ding... Thing. Um, we've run out of time, so I'm going to cut the video, and then after that, we're going to go find Mother, Mother Dearest, and... We shall frolic.